Yeah. Carolina, congratulations. How does it feel to be in your first Grand Slam semi-final? Thank you very much. Uh, definitely something new for me, but uh, very nice. I mean, uh, it, it's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good, yeah. Okay, okay we'll move straight online. Uh, Willie, first question, please. Can you describe your earliest dreams of going deep in a major and how the reality now matches those dreams? Um, yeah, I think, you know, it's, uh, it's a goal so you, you're setting up when, when you're playing tennis. It's, uh, for me, at least, it's a majors and then the Grand Slams to go, to go far and to... For me to be in semi-final, it's uh, as you said, it's it's like a dream, and I'm I'm really happy for that. Do you remember what your earliest dreams were? How old you were, and what it was like in those dreams? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I actually, I actually have one um, memory from here. Uh, when I was a kid and got my first first notebook, I put as a wallpaper. Um, uh, Rod Laver Arena, the stadium, and I, I was just like, I hope one day, you know, it would be nice to play there or, or to look at the arena or, or whatever. And now, um, yeah, I just, I just uh, want a match and, and to make it to semifinals. So it's, uh, it's amazing. Okay, we'll come back in the room. Carolina, congratulations. Can I just ask you about the, the medical timeout? Did, did you feel sick or? And what was it a re as a result of the match not playing out the way you wanted to? Was it the heat? Uh, I think it was a bit of a heat. Yeah, it got to me, and, and I was feeling kind of dizzy at some point, like uh, really, really lost and almost, almost fainting. And uh, so, yeah, I just, uh, I just asked for for help. And what kind of help did you get? Because when you came out five, ten minutes later, you looked like a completely different player. What was it that you think helped you? Uh, definitely, they they cooled me down, you know, with the ice, and uh, I was a bit in a in a shadow. And the uh, doctor checked my pressure, my temperature, and everything. And um, yeah, I think the the ice thing was uh, was the main one. Okay, we'll move back online. Ben, your question, please. Okay, Carolina, congratulations. That point in the second set where I think you hit five overheads in a row to win the point where Ash was hitting a lot of lobs. Uh, that seemed like a big sort of momentum swing as well. How, how important was that point, do you think? And, and what would it feel like to hit, have hit five smashes to, to win a rally? That's pretty rare. Hello, thank you. Um, yeah, that's rare. I, I was, I think, it was even like a smiling when I hit like a third smash. Uh, <laughs> You know, in my head, I was like, go to the forehand, and I was still just hitting on her back end, and she was standing there, but definitely very happy that, that I won that point. Was there a point where you started to believe more that you could win this match after how bad it was going for you on the scoreboard at the beginning? Was there a moment when you sort of got the idea, yeah. hey, I can, actually, I can actually win? I don't think it was this point. It was... It was there was many points when it was, like, on one side and uh, another. So, but definitely, yeah, these kind of points, um, uh, you know, help it uh, when you when you hit some winners. So, so it was definitely nice. Okay, Courtney, next question, please. Carolina, congratulations. Um, you know, you had that comeback against uh, Pliskova, and then the first set comeback against Mertens, and then today. What has been the key to your tournament here in in Melbourne and being able to ma to mount these uh, these comebacks? Thank you. Honestly, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, start, uh, start good, and it seems a bit like this slow starts for me, like a tradition I can't get rid of here. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to to get more into game, to feel the ball, to not make such an easy mistakes from the start, and yeah i'm I'm just slow from the start looks like but but I'm happy that uh, uh with a match i'm I'm bringing my level more and more up and given the way that your season started just uh with it, you know maybe a few injury concerns and coach and things like that how how i mean if somebody were to tell you before the tournament started you were going to make the semifinals of the Australian open, what would have been your reaction given what you knew at the time? <laughs> 
You know, I would definitely take it. Like if I would, uh, if I knew this before the tournaments, and yeah, it's it's um, just something something very nice, you know, to kind of achieve these goals and and to move on to on to the semifinals of the Grand Slam. It's just yeah, it's it's really nice feeling. And can I just ask about the bug that you keep drawing on the uh, on the the, the camera? What, what's yeah, that definitely. About? You know, it's actually not a bug, um, but everyone thinks it's a bug. I'm not really a good <laughs> drawing, but um, uh, I don't have my coach and half of the team. Actually, I have them all home in, in Czech, and uh, we have like a WhatsApp group, and uh, this is the picture of our WhatsApp group, and it's a uh, African sign of like uh, you know because it was not easy start for us here so um it means like a hardiness and toughness it's uh it's called vava abba and so i just uh, draw it to to tell them hi back to check okay michael next question please hi good afternoon carolina congratulations on your victory today um you know i was quite impressed in watching the match throughout it seemed like uh, you never panicked. You kept calm, uh, both at the beginning as you were enduring, you know, the uh, your struggles, and then coming out of the medical timeout. Um, how do, is is this, you know, kind of part of your character? It seems like you 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 keep you know calm out there. Uh, you uh, you never you know, show a lot of emotion or uh, you know uh, your anger uh, uh, does this suit you well uh, can you explain uh? yeah hello um, yeah I think I'm just trying to be really calm and and um, yeah to kind of not think about uh, previous mistakes and all of it and uh, I'm definitely working on my kind of mental mental side in in this way and um, yeah, it's something as well. I think it's a bit of my character. I'm like kind of easygoing, I would say. So, so uh, on a on a court, I'm just trying to keep focused and and yeah, to be like chill, you know. Okay, Ben. Next question, please. Jen Brady just won her quarterfinal. So, if you could just look forward to that match and and what you expect from playing uh, Brady. Um, I think I played Jen once, and yeah, she is she is a very good player, very big strokes and um, fast ones. <laughs> so uh, so definitely gonna be gonna be a tough battle. Okay, Willie, last question in English, please. Sure, it's a follow up on Ben's question, also about facing Jen Brady. You mentioned you played once, but that was on a different surface. What do you consider to be the challenge of facing Jen Brady on the hard court here in Australia? You know, I will, I will say the same as I said before. I think I will have to bring my A game to to play with her because she is really playing playing amazing matches and, and having good season, even the last season so far. So it's yeah, I look forward to that one and and we'll try we'll try to to play my best.